Hey guys, Chet. Coming at you. Update on the ammunition crisis here. Some of the crap that I saw today, just it's beginning to like really piss me off. I'm 100% sure that half of this shortage crap is totally manufactured. Okay, It's not because of the manufacturers, it is being manufactured. And uh, let me tell you about the, the perpetrators in this. Um, the lines in some of these sporting goods stores today that just so happen to get their shipments in on Wednesdays, um, blow your mind, man, for, for 22. It's like they're lining up to get on a ride in Disneyland. Um, you guys know I do a lot of reloading. I frequent these places. I get re reloading supplies. Lions just insane. People f still freaking out. Okay, I was talking to one of the guys in there who, who worked there. He'd been there for a while. He told me, man, he's got people quitting their jobs just to show up on Wednesday and get this damn ammo. Now, one thing I've noticed, scalping. Ammo scalping is prolific here. People are getting them a brick of 22 shells and they're selling it for a hundred dollars on the classified um well, just ridiculous shit you know um he said they're they're there before the employees are even there and then they loiter in the store he said that he has two guys who come in every wednesday they loiter in the store for the entire day if that's what it takes to wait for this shit to get off the truck and and try to get some Okay, and it, and it's it's 22, you know, it, it's 22, you guys, come on. So, most of, you know, and I and I see it, he was telling you guys a story about the guy, you know, this with his six bricks, ah, you know, laughing at everybody as, as he ran to the register, you know. Um, under normal circumstances, if there wasn't like, you know, the, this panic buying and this fear and this aura of, you know, madness surrounding this, no one goes and buys 10 damn bricks of 22 on a Saturday to go shooting. No one. But now for some reason, everyone is. You know, and it's not just, you're going to go shooting with your kid on the weekend or something, guy picks up a brick, picks up a couple hundred, goes out, plinks around, and you know, you're, you're not fearful that you're not going to get any more. Well, now everybody's, ah, they're fearful. You know, and they're getting ten, as many, how, how many could I have, you know, and they're just, they're, it's just, just ridiculous, man. It's really pissing me off. I'm, I'm looking at these people in the store, they're standing in these lines, and I'm, I'm actually starting to feel like a sense of anger, which is like, not like me, it's out of my, out of my character. But, man, you guys, stop buying this crap, man. It's do don't if it ain't on the shelf don't take a day off work don't go wait in a friggin line somewhere you know it, it's not it's not all that man you know and people are like you, you would think they were passing out food you know in, in, a, in a famine situation or something you know like soup lines to, to get 22 shells and man I, I see it on our classifieds here in Idaho you know, you can post ammo and stuff on all these local classifieds online and stuff, and you know, 50 bucks, 60 bucks, 100 bucks and shit, man, for a brick of 22 shells. You know, well, it, it's driving it. Who's buying it? Who's who's paying these prices? You guys need to stop, man. If if anybody's paying exorbitant prices for this crap, stop because you're fueling the insanity. I mean, these dudes normally, I mean, they normally wouldn't, like I said, a guy would buy a box here and there and you'd go plink, man. Nobody in their right mind goes in and is like, you know, waits for the, the key to unlock the front door and then, you know, the buffalo herd makes it in and, you know, they're trampling each other and shit to, to get in the line and like, man, you know, you think they were passing out like tickets to heaven or something in there, but yeah, it's just pissing me off. Man, I can't even stand to like go in and look at these idiots, man. And you know, I see people pulling up into the parking lot. No shit, they're running to the store. Why do you need to run to the goddamn store, man? If there's a hundred and fifty cars in the parking lot and there's no place to park, what what good is it going to do for you to close your truck door 
and run to the store. You know, like you're gonna like you're gonna get there and, and just so happen to get the last one. It's just it's, this is mind boggling. And people need to get their mindset checked. You know, because it now we got it doesn't matter if there's a shortage or not or whatever. We got we got our own, you know, everybody in, you know, the firearms enthusiasts or whatever, people now it's just manufactured. They're manufacturing the problem. It's not the manufacturer's problem, you know? It, it's just, man, you guys, don't pay more than what it's worth. And I don't want no Econ 101 lesson where somebody like, well, it, it, it's worth whatever somebody is willing to pay. You know, that is such bullshit, man. You know, don't pay it. it do not do not pay more than it is when it's sitting on the shelf in that store. Because that is what's driving people just like insanity. You know, it, it's getting to the point to where the whole entire contents of the store are on our local classifieds. You know, if you go online and you, you go to the classified, it's like it's like all, all of our classifieds in Idaho have turned into sporting good outfitters. Because they're just scalping everything off the store shelves, doubling the price, and putting it on the damn classifieds. Don't pay it. If you guys don't buy it, how bad do you really need this shit? Don't buy it. Don't don't pay double. Don't pay triple. If you guys don't buy it, all these jackasses who are running out with their 10 bricks of ammo trying to make it out the door, you know, guess what? They're going to have to go back to work, you know, and, and make their 10 bucks an hour. Instead of, you know, grabbing the $20 brick and selling it for 100 No wonder why you got people quitting work and shit, man. You know, if you can get two bricks and make 160 in a day, you know. So they're making a living on just, like, falsely creating this, like, shortage scenario. Man, I've got housewives and, and old women and all these people standing in the goddamn ammo line. You know, with, with their husbands, I guess they couldn't get off work that day. Oh, honey, will, will you run down and stand in the line for 15 minutes and see see if you can score me a box? You know, what the hell, man? Man. Now, I don't mean to rage on you guys here, but get the word out. It, this needs to go nationwide, man. You guys stop buying the shit off of scalpers from your local classifieds. And, you know, it won't be worth their while to, to beat the damn doors to the store down at 9 o'clock in the morning. And, and try to scalp everything. So that's my that's my message coming at you guys. So I know it's a little kind of kind of a tangent, and it's really not like me. But um, you know, it, it's I'm starting to get tired of looking at it, you guys. And I'm sure all you guys are. I'm sure there's a lot of guys you go in, you know, and you can't help but to see like the the, the, the desperate ones, man. It just you know, if it ain't there. Don't buy it. Don't go fishing around on Gumbroker and your local classifies and these auction sites to pay, you know, $75 or $100 for, for a damn brick of 500 So, I mean, it's just, it's absolutely, now, now it's, it's beyond. Now it's just to the point of being asinine. Okay? This is just, this is just asinine. So, you know, the, the shortage is over, people. We can all breathe easy. All right? You know, stop foaming at the mouth. And overpaying for shit. So, moral of the story. Wait for it to appear on the store shelf. Don't beat the damn doors down. And don't pay for more, you know, than what it's worth. It's 22 ammo, people. 22. Alright? Let's get a little bit of, of perspective. Let's get our perspective back. Okay? It's 22 ammunition. Okay? It's not food. It's not your diabetes injections or some shit you can't live without. So, alright guys. This is Chet. Sorry to rage on you, but let's get the word out. Everybody needs to start boycotting this ammo scalping crap. So, hey guys, thanks for watching, as always.